Hello everyone, welcome to the Common Sense Academy. Today we're going to take a look at the article, Sovereign Woman Remanded at IMH Faces Four Charges of Public Nuisance Breaching Circuit Breaker Rules. Now, we, I took a look at this video earlier. This was the woman in Singapore claiming that uh, she is sovereign and that she is not a person. She is we the people. And in that video, I was pretty harsh on the Singaporean uh, justice system. So let's see how they dealt with this woman. It's interesting um, and a little bit funny at the same time. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. This is the Common Sense Academy. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, and share. Really looking for subscriptions. Get me to 10,000, please. It opens up new opportunities with Facebook or with YouTube. And it's a, it's a, free way to support the show. This show will always remain free. Also, share this video. Share my videos. That's another great way to support this show. It gets me out there. It's literally maybe the best thing that you can do. Subscribe and share. Um, before we read, though, uh, raise your glass, your cup, in the air. Let's do a same-time sip. It tastes better when we sip together. Coffee is even more essential in these strange pandemic lockdown times we are living in. Singapore, a 40-year-old woman who has gained notoriety for claiming that she is a sovereign above the law, was charged in a district court on Tuesday, May 5th, for public nuisance and breaching circuit breaker measures. I don't What the heck is that? Paramjeet Kaur a Singaporean who's understood to be born here faces three charges under the COVID-19 regulations and one charge of public nuisance. I got to tell you in that video, her English didn't sound accented at all. Maybe somebody knows, is English the first language in Singapore? I don't know. She was arrested at about 9 p.m. on Monday and appeared in court through a video link from the Central Division police headquarters with a mask on, pulled down to expose her nose and mouth. She has been remanded at the Institute of Mental Health. Oh, geez. Well, look, maybe I was wrong. I mean, if they send you to a mental health institution over public nuisance, uh, then, um, yeah, Singapore is, is as harsh as I thought. She is accused of leaving her home to eat in front of a food stall at Chunfu Market on April 14th, not wearing a face mask in public on two occasions, April 30th and May 3rd, shouting loudly and creating a scene at Shunfu Mart on May 3rd. Look, if the United States was throwing people in jail or mental institutions for not wearing face masks, half our population would be there right now. The police previously said that she was being investigated for assaulting a 47-year-old woman who had advised her to wear a mask, but this was not the subject of any charges on Tuesday. I bet that she just got into an argument with the woman. There was probably no actual assault. I've seen that happen. Her lawyer, Mr. Satwant Singh, told the court that her mother had hired him to represent her. Carr then said, I would just like to say something. I am a living woman. We know you are. And that is my only capacity in this matter. Okay. I extend my sovereign immunity to Sotwant and I ask Sotwant to represent him. Oh, ho, ho, ho. she gave the lawyer sovereign citizenship. How nice of her. Now the lawyer can work. Ah, there we go. Well, a police prosecutor asked that she be sent to IMH for two weeks for psychiatric observation. Mr. Singh said that she has her own rights and asked to speak to her in order to explain the law. After a short break, the lawyer said that he had read the investigation officer's report. It stated that she claimed she was not a person and wants to be referred to as though thy, as thou, thy, thee. Mr. Singh also noted that several witnesses had called her crazy, but that did not mean she was suffering from mental health problems. That's true, unless you classify sovereign citizenship itself as a mental health disease, which, in fact, it may be. She does not have any known history at IMH, he added. The police prosecutor replied, we're not sure if the accused is currently fit to plead in court. This would be advantageous not only to the prosecution, but counsel as well. If counsel wishes to speak to her, he can do so after the IMH remand. 
did the investigation officer consider me sane enough when he was reading the charges to me, Carr said. Asked, repeating that she was extending her immunity to Mr. Singh. District Judge Clement Ton disagreed that there would be any prejudice to Carr if she was remanded at IMH and ordered her to be sent there. Ouch! She will return to court on May 19th. How about that? Two weeks in a mental institution for being a sovereign citizen. If convicted of public nuisance, she could be fined up to 2000 Singaporean dollars. She also... She could also be fined up to $10,000, jailed up to six months or both for each charge under the COVID-19 regulations if convicted. Okay, I take that back. Singapore is as harsh as I thought they were. Um, Chinese daily, Lian Wambo, <clears throat> or Lan Hei, excuse my pronunciations, reported that she works as a physiotherapist and lived in Australia for 20 years before returning to Singapore last year. This woman's a physiotherapist, lived in Australia. That's where she gets her good, her pretty unaccented English. Videos of her confrontations with members of the public went viral over the weekend and on Monday. In one of the videos, she could be heard saying, the law is, you can't tell me what to do. Then there would be no point of law, would there now, lady? In a second video taken along a walkway, the woman said the police had previously stopped her at the market and had let her off without a warning or a fine. She added, I'm a sovereign. This is something people are not going to know what it is. Yeah, because it's fake. In a third video, a member of the public was seen approaching her with a face mask, but she told him to mind his own business. The radical belief that one is a sovereign citizen above the law and gets to decide which rules to obey and which ones to ignore has its roots in the United States in the 1970s and was largely influenced by white supremacist and anti-Semitic groups from the 1960s to 1980s. Yay, United States. We've exported uh, McDonald's, apple pie, Ford trucks, and sovereign citizens. Woohoo! She was fined for breaching the rules last month during the circuit breaker to restrict movement of people and business activities. It was reported she turned aggressive when SG Clean ambassadors from the National Environment Agency approached her and asked her to leave Shunfu Mart. She was not observing safe distancing when buying food and went on to eat the food which she bought on site which was not allowed she then refused to cooperate then when told to leave and took photographs and videos of the ambassadors doing the same with the police when they arrived to handle the case yay typical sovereign stuff law and home affairs minister k sean mugam spoke up about the case on monday saying people who do not want to obey the rules of the society they live in should not expect any of the benefits that come from that particular system of governance <laughs> i mean singapore does not mess around man you you have to respect it to a certain degree i mean i think it's a little heavy-handed but again you have to respect it. You have to respect it. So um, that's the, the conclusion to the story of the Singaporean sovereign citizen for now. She learned her trade, it appears, in Australia. But, you know, Australia learned it from my great country, the United States. Thank you for tuning in to the Common Sense Academy. I hope you found this video entertaining and interesting. I cover sovereign citizens, First Amendment auditors, and people behaving badly. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share share really looking for subscriptions and really looking for shares free way to support this show this show will always remain free it takes a lot of time and effort for me to do these videos so any small support like that is very appreciated thank you very much